What is going on YouTube? We are back finally with some Dark Souls 2 uh, videos. I pretty much just skipped the second DLC, but I'm back with the third DLC. Uh, I played through pretty much all of it today. I didn't struggle with it like I did with the second one. But um, yes, I'm only going to be covering the main boss in this video. Uh, the the Ivory King, the Burnt Ivory King, as he's, he's called in in-game. I, I didn't find the fight too difficult, like the first time I actually fought him, I beat him, but that wasn't my first time in the fight area, which you'll you'll see later what I mean by that. Um, but yes, for the fight, you actually have allies for the first part of the, the battle, it's like, a, it's like a big PV player versus environment battle, and you, in the surrounding areas you will find three of these knights. These Ilium Lois knights, um, and basically, basically, you just have to explore the entire area, and you'll you'll get to each of them eventually. There's one here at the top of the tower, at the end of that bridge, and then the other two are like down, just down in the town surrounding areas and all of that. Um, the the exploration and the environment in this DLC was really really good. Um, I really really liked it. Obviously. Kinda reminds me a bit of the the painted the painted world in Dark Souls One. Obviously, just because it's snowy, but like there's other things as well. But uh, yeah, if you search around all the areas and explore everything, you'll find three of these guys, and then you will, will have four of them when you enter the the boss fight, the big arena. And um, I'm not sure whether that's actually a good thing or a bad thing, because you see when I when I actually do the fight. It um it just kind of turns into chaos, <laughs> it really does. And the the times that I did die were at the beginning when like all the knights and shit are just fighting each other. And yeah, it's just very very chaotic. But you'll see there's basically after each one you'll find there'll be like a shortcut back to an area that you'll recognise. So this is just after the first boss fight there. Um, but yeah, there really isn't a whole lot to like advise about with the fight. Um, there's no super nasty attacks really that I that I encountered. I would have said that the the bosses from the the old Iron King DLC were definitely tougher. Fume Knight and Sir Alon were a bit trickier, but um, this was good. I got really into this fight. Um, it was really intense, really uh, well put together. Just. I can't say enough positive things about these games, I really really do like them, and like, just everything is of such a high, a high, a, um, a high quality and a high standard. Um, with this dark spirit here, I left this little bit in, you can actually just cheese the hell out of her, um, and if you get her where I did, her spells can't actually reach you. So like you see there, it just dies, it doesn't have enough range, and you can just destroy her. Um, so yeah, that's an easy way. Uh, this is the last, the last of the Ilium Lois Knights. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I'll shut up and just let you watch the fight. My reactions and all that were pretty funny. Um, yeah. Uh, also, if you speak to Vendrick, like if you go into his memory after this, after you've done all three DLCs and you have the three crowns, there's like some extra lore stuff, there's no extra battles or anything like that, unfortunately. He just like, he, he says a whole heap more than he did before. So, just some interesting lore points, which I'll, I won't put that in the video, I'll leave that um, for people to find on their selves, on themselves. Um, that attack, I had never seen that before, he just stabs the ground and then sends spikes shooting your eye. There's a lot of really like cool ice and fire effects in this. There's like a spell that I saw for the first time in the boss fight. And that's like it's basically like that the ice attack that you just saw that guy do, but with fire. It's like a pyromancy or something. But um yes, that is all. Oh shut up. Um I have a PS4 now, so I'll be back with videos soon. Probably the evil within, which is gonna be scary as hell, but it looks awesome. So uh Anyways, enjoy guys. Peace!
No, don't leave me alone. Oh, for crying out loud. Be out of regen. Really, really freaking soon. No, no, no. I don't know what's going on behind me. next <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> it's the gate to hell this is insane what are you looking at for what are you looking at me for we have to fight more there we go ivory king game on we're gonna have to do that shit every time, aren't we? Maybe not. Hopefully not. But probably. Okay, this guy can be dead really soon. There he goes. on that. Heal. Oh my goodness. Is it, oh, what the shit is this? He's got a freaking lightsaber, man. That's not fair. At least those are attacks are easy to judge. Oh no, I don't like these things. Heal. Don't even care, I got full health. Oh, 
Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Heal, 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 heal. No, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm alive. Oh, just let me hit you twice. Yes! Oh my goodness. That was insane. <laughs> that was so intense. Holy shit. Ugh. I'm peeking my microphone like crazy now. Sorry. Ugh. Hallelujah. Is he? Oh, it's Nadalia. Okay, so that's from the Knights. So I guess that works like the Nadalia one. You can complete it. The Knights of Lois were taken by Chaos and Lost. Soul of the Ivory King. The proud Ivory King was ever merciful and devoted himself to the protection of his great land until he was devoured by the flames of chaos. Man, I would shit myself when he went when he went freaking lightsaber mode then. I still had Estes, I was just popping things like crazy. Ah. Was there four of them? Apparently not. Yeah, no kidding. That was crazy. That was... That was some Michael Bay shit. Crown of the Ivory King. We did it, we did it, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the three, three crowns now. Far to the north, the king built a great cathedral to appease the raging flame. But when he sensed the degradation of his soul, he left without a word, leaving everything to Alsana, who had unbeknownst found a place at his side. But these were events long ago, yada yada yada. Okay. I was going to say, how do we get out of here? <laughs> Where's the door? The freaking... The fight at the start was really... Ridiculous. I'm not sure how that would have worked if you didn't save all the knights. Whether, like, they would have spawned less of them, or... I don't know. I do not know. That was cool, though. Cool, cool, cool fight.